Welcome to the Sociology O-Level Lessons. These lessons will be based on the syllabus Cambridge O-Level Sociology 2251. In the first one, we'll look at research methods. The first part reads as the distinction between positivist and interpretivist approaches to research method. In the first lesson, we'll consider the positivist approach and in the next lesson, we'll look at the interpretivist approach. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce the positivist approach in sociology, explain the reasons for the adoption of positivism in sociology, explain quantitative methods in sociology, and look at questionnaire and structured interview as methods of data collection used by the positivists. We are looking at research methods. The search methods means the methods used by sociologists to collect data for their study. Data is a plural noun that refers to the information collected by sociologists for the purpose of research. You will come across this very often, so you remember it. What is positivism? Positivism is simply the methods used by the positivists. The positivist are the sociologists who use methods similar to those used by the natural scientists to study society. When sociology first started, the aim was to start a science of society, and they felt that the best method would be to use methods similar to the established natural sciences like physics, chemistry and biology, which were the pure sciences, and to adapt it to the study of society. So they believe that sociologists can use methods similar to that of natural scientists. And we are going to see what those methods are shortly. You should be aware that the natural sciences were already established sciences for centuries before the social sciences came into existence, especially sociology, which came into existence in 1826 onwards, when Auguste Comte first coined the word sociology for a science of society. The natural scientists use quantitative data, that is data that can be presented in figures. And so the positivist also adopted similar approaches and methods that would allow them to gather data in figures and which they could represent in the form of charts, graphs and tables and draw conclusions from there. What exactly is the positivist method? To understand this, you have to understand the process used by the positivists. The positivist starts with a general theory from where they would draw a hypothesis, collect data and analyze those data to reach conclusions. This is generally the process used by the positivist, which can be adopted in the social sciences as well. So we're going to take an example from sociology, how sociologists use the positivist approach. Sociologists start the study with a theory. They have a general idea of certain relationships that exist in society. For instance, we take an example. We would say that social class is a major determinant of uh, success in life. But this is a very general statement. It talks about it in facts which we are probably aware of, but which we should be able to verify and see whether they apply in a specific context. Now, if the sociologist wants to do research in this area, she can decide to apply it in one particular area of social life, say in education. So the sociologist would draw a hypothesis, for instance, based on social class and education. Suppose she states a hypothesis such as success in education is determined by social class. And she wants to find out whether really social class is such an important determinant of success in education. To do that, if the sociologist is using quantitative data, she can use either uh, questionnaires or interviews and collect information from a number of people. 
once she gets this information she can decide now to write it down in the form of uh, figures and charts and tables from where she would draw her conclusions but studying society and social life can be very tricky she may find out that success in education is not always determined by social class higher social class children fail and even lower social class children succeed though there may be more higher social class children passing compared to those coming from the lower social class or she can also find out that there are other factors such as ethnicity and gender which are also important in determining success in education what we found that the sociologist started with a theory a general idea and from there she drew a hypothesis a specific idea which applies to one particular context collected information and reached conclusions though there are multiple conclusions that you can reach because in social sciences you don't get a straightforward yes or no true or false in other words the sociologist has been able to identify a hypothesis and to a certain extent support the theory that social class is a major determinant of success in life in one particular area of social life in education this is what we call the positivist process how the natural scientist proceed with a systematic study of nature and how it is applied in sociology to carry out a method similar to that of the natural scientist which is used by the positivist now we will look at the quantitative methods used by the sociologist the positivist to gather information there are two main methods which we spoke about in the beginning questionnaires and structured interviews questionnaires and structured interviews are used by sociologists mostly from the positivist approach because they feel that they can get information which can be quantified which can be presented in percentages for instance an example could be the percentage of people going to school by social class the percentage of people who pass and fail from different social classes and we just saw an example earlier we can also look at uh, the percentage of crime the crime rate among different groups of people in society or the percentage of people who watch television and read newspapers so all these help the sociologist to establish the relationship between two factors such as social class and crime rate for instance or social class and success or failure in examinations let us look at the tools that the sociologist uses to gather quantitative data first there is the questionnaire a questionnaire is a set of questions designed by the sociologist to gather quantitative data it can use either closed question or open-ended questions closed questions are questions with fixed answers whereas open-ended questions are questions where the respondent can give a short answer in a written form however in questionnaire because they're concerned with quantitative data data which can be quantified sociologists usually will make use of closed questions how do sociologists quantify information let's look at the question for instance how often do you go to church the options are never zero sometimes one often two so if the sociologist has assigned a number to the answer he can easily tabulate that number and come to percentages there's another example here do you agree that children are interested in education strongly agree one disagree two don't know three 
agri4 strongly agri5 then once you get the answer from many people you can use these figures to tally and to uh, quantify the answer and present them in percentages another method of gathering quantitative data is the structured interview a structured interview consists of a series of questions with fixed answers the interview is carried out by the sociologist who will take the right answer provided by the respondent and therefore a structured interview can be easily quantified and presented in figures just like the questionnaire the only difference is that it is administered by a sociologist one-to-one -one with the respondent answering the question we have been talking about quantitative data which are presented in graphs tables and charts and which are preferred by the positivist this is what we started off with so let's see what did we learn today we started by introducing the term positivism help you understand that the positivists are those who use the natural science method in sociology which is the scientific method borrowed from the natural sciences we looked at the positivist processes that is the systematic way through which the sociologist gathers information and we also explain how the natural scientists use quantitative data and how the positivist in sociology also use quantitative data such as questionnaire and interview and we looked at different examples of what are questionnaires and what are structured interviews we are now going to look at assessment questions you may get 2 marks, 4 marks, 6 marks or 10 marks questions and even 15 marks questions for a 2 marks question you give a simple definition only for a 4 marks question you give a definition plus an example for a 6 marks question you explain with proper example and a 10 marks question should be a clear description and explanation of the different aspects of the question here are the questions define positivism two marks what is a quantitative method four marks what is a structured interview four marks differentiate between a closed question and an open-ended question six marks how do the positivist sociologist expect to carry out a scientific study of society 10 marks or explain the positivist process 10 marks thank you very much for your kind attention i hope you have enjoyed this lesson we'll see you very soon with another lesson on the interpretive anti-positivist approach this is a homemade video and the music as well as the graphics have been borrowed from an open source mostly from unsplash.com to whom we are very thankful.